I was shown this morning a video by an individual by the name of, and I can't even pronounce his name because there's no vowels in it, <laughs> X-P-N-Z-V-T-Z-T. Yeah. Um, he showed me this cool video of an individual that is doing 3D printing right now on a, a crazy scale, and he actually created something called Pickup Bot, which is a 100% 3D printed transformer. It doesn't even have to be assembled. It was printed on the spot and transformable on the spot straight from the 3D printer. And he posted a video on his uh, on his Twitter. It's Cults 3D. Uh, cult is an occult, but with plural 3D. Yeah. And he he posted a a sped up video of him pretty much showing how um, how the whole process is and start to finish and then he just takes it straight off of the 3d printer and shows how it's transformable and it's crazy and the only reason why i bring this up because this is the future you know i mean this is something that i mean hasbro i know that they they what they did already is they've already patented and trademarked a lot of stuff in relation to 3d printing for the future for their products Mm. And um, even their, they have the website called Hasbro Labs that right now is really just being used for high-end stuff. But I know that in the future, it's going to be used for probably this kind of stuff too. And I'm going to, I'm going to, obviously I'm going to show some uh, images uh, in the segment, but I'm also going to post a link to the video uh, in the uh, description, uh, not in the description, in, in the, uh, in the comments. And you guys could definitely come check this out too, because this is, this is pretty crazy and the guy has more information, but it's it's really cool because what it is essentially is it it's it reminds me more of a GoBot design. <laughs> yeah. But it's just it shows how a simple transformation with a few you know you know simple articulation and stuff, but it shows that how this character could be three D printed in full color and straight off of you know the the printing press become a reality. And I mean, I don't know how quickly the video was sped up, but I mean, it you know, I, there's light in the background uh, from daylight. So clearly it didn't take like, you know, 24 hours, but it took a period of time. But this is this is nuts. This is this is really a, a look into the future of toy development and specifically Transformer toy development, because Transformers have always been way more complex as a toy from a engineering and from an assembly standpoint than any other action figure. Because when you're talking a G.I. Joe or even when you're talking a high-end Hot Toys, it's still way less parts than yeah. even the most simple of... Uh, I mean, you could take a Generation 1 Bumblebee and unscrew him, and you're talking uh, literally like, you know, dozens of parts in comparison to even a Hot Toys toy, you know, that's supposed to be like this, you know, the, the, the end-all be-all. top of the line, yeah, yeah. exactly. So it's, it's something that this is very fascinating to see, especially with no assembly required. Full color, I mean, it's the next step. It used to be, I remember, like, five years ago, I was talking to people who were doing 3D printing, and the only way you were able to print in full color was you had to do it in sandstone, which was like a very rough kind of concept and stuff. That was the only way you were able to 3D print in full color. Mm. Otherwise, you had to like print in individual colors, and then you had to assemble it that way, or you had to ins ins assemble individual pieces. You know, now this this evolution of 3D printing, it's getting more crazy. And again, Cults 3D here, they're really showing a small little window into the future of what might affect our hobby. Maybe for, maybe not directly through Hasbro yet, but definitely from a third party standpoint. Yeah. And I mean, if, if stuff like this gets streamlined, it's something that, you know, when 3d printing starts falling into the hands of more people, it's going to get to a point that like, you could just, you know, go to a big bad toy store or whatever, and you're going to be buying a code. And then you're just unlocking that code onto your program and then downloading it and then printing it at home and i mean it's gonna it's gonna open up doorways man it is gonna open up some hey, serious you doorway. wouldn't download a toy would you i, I would if i could <laughs> mm. seriously it's i mean it's this looks great this looks great i mean I'm, again check the fascinating it's actually really fascinating it is really time lapse and just he picks it up and he just transforms it and everything i mean it's not like crazy articulated but it's still fascinating to see like oh, yeah, the early like, stages it, of this and it's, you could clearly see how you know the details for hands still really aren't there yet you know but but the basics of what would be 
a robot are there like like i can imagine him like the i guess the equivalency of micromaster engineering like i can imagine him like doing a whole lines of micromasters mm. like easily of that kind of engineering and that kind of detail and that kind of design with no problem where back in the day a micromaster each individual color had to be done on a on a different tree and had to be assembled and it had to have its rivet in there and it had to be painted like now it's like everything's getting molded and done in in specific colors it's yeah this is incredible incredible uh check out the link for sure uh, there's gonna when we're gonna learn more about this, I'm definitely gonna bring this up more on the channel because this I always feel is going to be the future, not just of Transformers but toys in general.